Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Rushali Rani Khan. I'm your dermatologist and today I'm going to talk about a condition that's called herpes zoster. Now you would wonder why am I talking about herpes zoster today? So there are two reasons for it. The first reason being every time someone hears about herpes zoster, they generally think about oh is this that herpes which is sexually transmitted? You know that sexually transmitted infection? No, this is not that. Herpes zoster is not sexually transmitted. Uh, second thing what generally what comes in their mind is the nagin word. Nagin is a colloquial term which is used for this condition, you know, because it affects one half of the body. So they probably uh, consider it to be something similar to a nagin or something. And you know, there's also this myth that because it affects one half of the body and it starts affecting the other half of the body and the two bodies, the two ends join and the person is going to die. So no, nagin is just a myth. Nothing like that happens. Now let's empower self with some knowledge about herpes zoster okay so now herpes zoster is basically a viral infection that involves the nerves what is the virus that causes it it is called varicella zoster virus now this is the same virus that causes chicken pox okay the same virus that causes chicken pox also causes herpes zoster now chicken pox commonly affects the children or even the adults Herpes zoster on the other hand generally affects the adults and more so people who are a little older in their 50s and 60s and more so common if they have some amount of immunocompromised situation like a diabetes. So anybody who is a little elderly and in their 50s should watch out for this condition. Okay. Now how does it look? Chicken pox generally you see the rash entirely on your entire body, face, mouth, hands, chest, everywhere. Herpes zoster doesn't happen like that. Herpes zoster is generally limited to what we call medically as a dermatome. Dermatome is a part of skin, is one half of the body that is supplied by a particular nerve because herpes zoster infects a particular nerve segment. Okay, So generally it is limited to one side of the body or what we call as one dermatome. Sometimes it might affect one or two adjacent dermatomes as well. Okay. So when we talk about it affecting nerves, how does it affect the nerves? So there are two kinds of nerves in our body. One are the nerves that originate in the brain, what we call as the cranial nerves. And there's a second kind of nerve that originates from our spine, which are called as the spinal nerves. Now in the cranial nerves, there are three nerves which can majorly be affected by herpes zoster. One is the trigeminal nerve, which supplies the skin on the face. So it could affect the eye, the cheeks or the jawline. Then there's the facial nerve which supplies the muscles because of which we can do all our facial expressions. And the third is the vestibulocochlear nerve which is responsible for hearing. In the, uh, among the spinal nerves, the spinal nerves are labeled as per the level of the vertebra they come out from. So if it is coming from the cervical vertebra, we call it C1, C2, C3, C4. So that's how we know okay, this herpes zoster is affecting a C2, C3, C4 dermatome. Or if it is affecting the chest, we know that this is the T2, T3, T4 dermatome. And similarly for the lumbar and the sacral vertebra. So when you get herpes zoster in the private area, it could also be because it is affecting the sacral vertebra. That would be the S1, S2, S3 nerve, something like that. Okay. Now, how do, how do you know it's herpes zoster? So suddenly, you know, one fine day you will see that there are these tiny grouped blisters which are present only on one side of the body in a small segment or even could be in a large segment but only one side of the body they generally have a little reddish border and the area is very painful like, you know like a muscle cache there could be some amount of burning sensation there could be some amount of pain there could be a pins and needle sensation it happens overnight it happens all of a sudden okay now the good part is it's a very well treated condition it can be treated very easily so you have to take your antiviral medicine you go to visit your skin doctor or your general doctor who understands the condition and uh, you're given an antiviral uh, i see a lot of patients say but doctor i have taken the antiviral still you know the infection did not go that generally happens when you don't take the correct dose of the antiviral okay so acyclovir valacyclovir are two medicines which are given for this condition and the doctor is going to tell you what kind of medicine needs to be taken ideally the medicine has to be started within 72 hours of acquiring the infection now you'll be like what happens if the medicine is delayed or it is untreated 
Now in this case something happens what is called as a post herpetic neuralgia. Post herpetic neuralgia means there is persistent of the pain much after the lesions have cleared from the skin. Now this is generally a little difficult to treat condition the pain lasts for too long a lot of medications need to be given etc. Now I'm going to tell you about three other conditions where the uh, herpes zoster the virus is affecting the nerves the cranial nerves okay. So if you have affection of the trigeminal nerve eye branch you are going to have a lot of swelling of the eyes pain in the eyes there could be also some involvement of the cornea so visiting an ophthalmic doctor is super important when you have involvement of the facial nerve there could also be some deviation in the face you know there could be like a, a deviation like this when they are talking like one side of the face or when they are smiling you know there will be drooping or there could be drooling of food while eating when it involves the eight nerve there could also be some difficulty in hearing I hope I have given you adequate information about herpes zoster so don't get confused don't panic when you suspect herpes zoster uh, that's it from my side thank you stay healthy stay safe.